Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. It seems that we cannot have enough of OCR when it comes to AI powered applications. In this video, I am going to show you yet another OCR model called as Monkey OCR. Interestingly, it is a vision language model designed for doc document parsing that introduces a new structured recognition relation triplet paradigm which i will be covering shortly not only i'm going to give you a whole overview of this model including its architecture but we are also going to install it locally on this system and we are going to test it out with view of the pdf files now let me spend a couple of minutes on this model so what is happening in this model which is different is that rather than using complex multi-tool pipelines like minor u does that suffer from error propagation or even processing entire pages with computationally expensive end-to-end -end models like coin vl does this monkey ocr breaks document parsing into three fundamental questions first where is it which means structure detection what is it which means content recognition and how it is organized which means relation modeling this approach enables this model to handle diverse document content including text tables formulas images and handwritten annotations across multiple languages while maintaining both accuracy and efficiency i will be talking more about its architecture but for now let's get it installed i'm going to use this ubuntu system and i have this gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gpu of vram i'm starting by creating this virtual environment with coda you can use pi env or a uv or whatever you like even without it is fine if you're also looking to rent a gpu or vm or cpu on very very affordable prices you can find the link to mass compute in video's description plus i'm also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50 percent for a range of gpu so please do check them out okay coming back to my terminal let's get clone the repo of monkey ocr and i will drop the link to it in video's description next step we need to install all the prerequisites from the root of the repo and there are heaps of them which i'm going to paste now and that is going to take few minutes let's wait and while that happens let me also introduce you to the sponsors of a video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation it is still installing the prerequisites while it does that let's talk about uh, the unique feature of this model which i really really like the architecture so this architecture as you can see on your screen works by first performing block level structure detection to accurately segment semantic regions within the document and then it uses a unified large multimodal model lmm to recognize content within each region without the error accumulation typical of traditional pipelines as i mentioned earlier finally a block level reading order prediction mechanism models the relationship between detected regions to reconstruct logical and semantic connections for structured output so this model which is only 3 billion parameter size achieves state of the performance on a lot of other benchmarks it has even beaten 72 billion coin 2.5 vl and gemini 2.5 pro on various english document parsing tasks so the model can even be efficiently deployed on our nvidia 3090 gpu but i will test it now in real time and show you how much vram it occupies so let's go back to our terminal okay so you can see that everything is installed next up we need to log into the hugging face as we need to download the model for that you would need to grab your hugging face read token which is free token let me paste it here and i am now logged in next up we need to download the model and the good thing is that they have provisioned this download model script from the root of the repo which i'm going to run and as soon as you run it it is going to download the model as you can see so let's wait for it 
okay so the model is now downloaded we can check it out and test the model okay for the testing now let's start with a simple one so this is a simple text file which contains some data about me in a pdf file it is stored on my local system i'm going to run this um, parse.py from the root of the repo on my this file and then meanwhile i'm just going to start vram consumption watch this so that we would know how much vram it is taking let the script run behind the scene so it's just consuming 1.2937 oh my goodness so close to i would say 38 gig of vram this model takes i don't think so that is good to be very fair um not trying to you know throw the project under the bus but for just for ocr things have come a long long way yes it has beaten a lot of good models on various benchmarks but 38 gig of vram for a model doesn't really mean anyway so you can ignore these errors um they keep happening so it has saved the output here let's go there okay now let's go to my output directory and if i go here open pdf let's check out the markdown first yep that looks pretty good if i quickly check and this is only english by the way uh doesn't support any other language maybe we can check the span yep that's done pretty nicely it has segregated it there are no images so no point in checking out the images and this is the whole structure so does the job pretty nicely which is good let's check out a few other examples okay in the next one i'm just going to go with this invoice where we have tabular data and some other tidbits let's see how this deals with this sort of pdf file let's wait for it to run it is going to load the model again it is loading the weights and we can ignore these errors and output is done let's check the output folder i'm just going to go the output folder so it has created this invoice folder and in that one it has different uh, directories so first let's check the images one this is the image okay so it has taken the image of this table pretty interesting what exactly this is okay this is a header of that table okay so that looks pretty good let's check uh, maybe what exactly is this invoice model okay so it has detected everything nicely and these are all the spans looks also quite good to me and then let's check the um, markdown and there you go the markdown looks quite good and it has even done the tabular data in a pretty pretty fine format if you again compare it to this pdf file and uh, this is a markdown one looks pretty good to me very nice and finally i'm going to test it out with a handwritten image instead of pdf file so this is the one where it, there is some text and then it is also striked out let me run this it is going to create the folder here and we will check it out in real time it is running at the moment it is loading the model there you go so handwritten one and let it finish that's finished let's first check the image this one was the image so it has produced the image correctly let's check the markdown okay so it couldn't do the image one properly so i think it just works with pdf i guess it has created a pdf file there you go it has detected it fine the spans are fine yep that's also good there you go and i think this is also a json format yep so it has just created a json format too so all in all i would say pretty good model not i mean especially when it comes to ocr of pdfs not so for images but pdf is fine but uh, my only thing is that it takes too much resources anyway keen to know your thoughts on it if you like the content please like the video and share it if you haven't already subscribed please do so as it helps a lot thank you for watching